Okay, so I wanted to point out this type of fascia, cellulite, dimples, bumps, whatever you want to call it, because I think it's so interesting when someone has actual lines versus having the um, more chunky and dimply. And if you look at her basic shape, she's a figure competitor, so she's got a lot of muscle mass. But if you just think of it like this, you've got your hamstring that kind of comes up like a hump, and then there's the divot here, and then we have her glute. So gravity kind of does this above and below the muscles. It's just like, think of it like mountains and valleys, and we tend to get these lines in our valleys. So if we want to get rid of it, it's really a two-fold issue. Number one, we actually want to get a little more um, volume between um, the meat of the hamstring and the glute, which every figure competitor knows, the glute hammy tie-in is super hard to get. And then we want to make sure that this fascia, because it's not like it's at the surface doing this, it's actually pulling kind of like from the inside. It's pulling like towards the bone. So the fascia is pulling like a cobweb pulling in like that. So the structural fascia is here, the intermuscular fascia is here, and it's just pulling it into a dent, and then gravity and the mountains are not helping us. So I'm gonna really work quite a bit on that. And then we'll go back and make sure that the upper and inner part of the hamstring is actually firing so that she can fill that out. So whenever you have dimples or bumps or lumps, it's twofold issue. Break up the uh, adhesions and things at the surface and then fill up the muscle behind it.